New England Combat here with JP Augustine, man. Hey, what's up, my friend? You got a fight on the 16th of December, brother. Yes, sir. And uh, tell us a little bit about it. You're gonna be heading to Mexico to fight for a championship, I right hear. Yeah, uh, we're fighting for uh, the WBC NABF heavyweight title uh, December 16th. Um, in Mexico, not sure who the opponent is right now, but uh, right now we're just grinding away and uh, getting ready for it. Excellent. Now, like I said, we're here at New England Combat. You've been mm -hmm. training with Victor about yeah. three years now. Dude, you're 16 and 0. You're going for your 12th knockout. Right. You're actually, you're, and also your ninth knockout in a row, man. Right. And you fought 10 times. This is going to be a 10th fight in 2017. Right. Mm -hmm. How, how is that possible? Like, how is that possible? Yeah, for a while, I was living out of a suitcase, you know, traveling almost like every other week, um, different venue, different city, just uh, you oh. know, trying to stay as active as possible. So, so you've been here three years. You fought. This is going to be your tenth fight. Tenth fight. Uh, it, yeah. it contributes to like I think uh, your last three opponents haven't got out of the first round with you in uh, right. the knockout. So you've been having quick fights, mm -hmm. and uh, basically, how do you keep your body like you're always in training camp? You've been in right. training camp all uh, for 2017. Year, yeah. um, for the past two years, I wasn't as active as I wanted to be. Um, I think I fought about twice um, each of those two years. So the reason that we fought ten times was to kind of like make up for what we didn't do the years before. And we're in the gym already every day anyway, so why not make the most of it if we're gonna be active? I think it's like man down right now. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we're in the gym every day. Um, why not make the most of your opportunities? If the fight comes up, you're ready to take it, go for it, you know? Excellent, excellent. Now, talking about this, these 11 knockouts, mm -hmm. man, what do you contribute? I mean, you've had plenty of them in the last, like you said, two or three years, right. fighting with Victor. What was the change, and, and what have you seen in your in, in your your training with Victor, and you know, just being in New England combat, and what it's brought to you? I mean, you fought all over the all over the country. Right. You're heading out of the country to fight right. in Mexico. Mm -hmm. What is the feeling being having Victor and, and training out of here and, and these guys here behind you? Like we have Nick DeLamba behind you training. Right. He's got a big fight coming. So you're surrounded by, by beasts in the boxing. By a lot of professionals, not only in boxing, but MMA as well. Yeah. Um, you know, part of the success has been working with my uh, strength and conditioning coach, who's uh, Nate Andrews. I think he's currently the number one uh, MMA lightweight out right now. So, you know, picking his brain and, you know, learning about nutrition and different ways of working out and working with Coach Victor Fagnet, uh, learning how to sit on my punches better, relaxing a little more in the ring, picking my shots. You know, a lot of that attributes to the softies that I've been getting lately. Excellent. Now, you've never been to Mexico, never fought in Mexico. Uh, uh, well, I have been to Mexico. Um, this was in uh, 2011 for a training camp for the uh, Haitian Olympic team. We were there for about eight weeks with the uh, Mexican Olympic team. Oh, excellent. So you, you're familiar with the altitude, like being right, there. Right. So that was going to be my question. Heading to Mexico, uh, do you think the, the altitude or anything will uh, affect you? Like, when will you be getting down there? The fight's on the 16th. When right. you when you heading, heading there? We're going to head there about a week and a half uh, before the date. Uh, we fought in Colorado as well, which okay. is also high altitude. So it's nothing new to me that uh, I'm being introduced to. Um, you know, I'm working with uh, the high altitude masks. I'm getting myself mentally and physically ready. So I don't think it's going to present a problem once we do get to Mexico with, you know, the altitude or whatever else, you know, people want to throw up there and, you know, get in your mind that you you know, you might be affected by certain things. Excellent, so. my friend. Now, will this be like, the, will this be the biggest fight as far as in your career so far, heading to Mexico and fighting for this championship? Absolutely. Anytime you have a title fight involved, that should be the biggest fight of, you know, your career. And the fact that I'm about to enter the top 15 in the world makes it that much bigger and more important as well. And uh, you talked about being on that culture team. How, how'd you do on there? Like, uh, like how was that experience? Like, you, you, you were trained with them in uh, Mexico and... Right. Um, so we basically had an invitation to uh, work with the uh, Mexican Olympic team because after the, uh, the earthquake in Haiti in 2010, it left a lot of the country in rubble where we were supposed to be working out. So Mexico sent us the invitation. We went out there, trained alongside their team, and uh, you know got as ready as we could for uh, the continental qualifiers that were in Brazil. Excellent. So not only are you uh, you know giving to yourself and your boxing career, you're giving back right. uh, to you know other boxing, other other communities. So that's. That's great. Not only, you know, boxing is, a, is, is, you know, one of the number one sp combat sports out there, right. if not the number one. And to have like a young dude like yourself fighting for a championship right. and to give back to the community, that's, you know, that's a great ambassador for the boxing uh, 
you know, the boxing gods and, and you know, all the boxing uh, fathers before you. So that's great, right. my friend. I mean, every athlete that gets to a certain point wants to be able to do something with the platform that they've built. You know, um, however it is that you do decide to give back if you are able to. So the fact that I'm in a position where, you know, I'm starting to garner some attention, you know, I do look to try to do something in what realm, I'm not sure exactly, but, you know, it is on my radar. How's your training camp going now? Um, and like, what is the next three weeks? What, what's, what's it entail for heading to Mexico? Well, right now we have uh, our strength and conditioning in the morning that uh, I work with Nate Andrews. Um, I have a sparring partner flying in tomorrow. I think he's from Jersey. He's a, uh, um, I know he's a real season vet. Uh, he'll be here until the uh, 9th. And, um, you know, we have a few other guys coming in to give us some different looks. Because, like I said, we don't have a set opponent yet, but we want to have different looks so that once we do approach the actual date, we're not, you know, surprised by whatever we see in front of us that day. Excellent. Now, are you used to uh, last minute opponents and stuff like that? Yeah, this part of the business, I mean, as you're coming up, um, you know, a prospect, you have to know that things can happen, whether it's an injury, a delay, a postponement. It's just like the amateurs, in a sense. So you have to find yourself to be able to be ready and adjust to whatever you have put in front of you. That is part of the game. All right, my friend. All right. Heading out of 2017, heading into 2018. 18, right. What are you looking for in 2018? Because you were busy this year. What, what are right. we doing next year? I mean, right now, we uh, don't know. We definitely want to stay active. That's for sure. Um, you know, we're going to supposed to be in the uh, top 15 dog willing. So, you know, climbing up the ladder progressively, getting the right opponents, um, you know, getting the right sparring, um, you know, just making as much noise as we can. The heavyweight division is wide open right now. I'm in a great uh, place. So, you know, it's only going up from here. Excellent, my friend. You know, winning that title on the 16, I mean, that can only help you going into uh, 2018 and starting off the year fresh, my friend. <laughs> So last thing, JP, uh, give shout outs. How we get in touch with you? And uh, the fans who want to follow, they can follow me at, at underscore Kid Creole. That's K-I-D-C-R-E-O-L-E on uh, both Instagram and uh, Twitter. My name is Junkie Augustine if they want to follow on uh, Facebook as well. Excellent, my friend. Well, I look forward to uh, you know talking to you after that fight and uh, watching you bring home uh, some more hardware, uh, right. bring it back to the States. And uh, we'll talk to you in uh, you know early 2018 and see where we're going from there. All right, sounds good. All right, my friend. Thank you so much. All right.